This is Drosera banata, and I actually have in this pot a mixture of Drosera multifida extrema and Drosera banata dicotoma um, from New Zealand, which is a uh, uh, self-fertile flowering form. The red um, plant that you see in the center here is the multifida extrema, and this by far is my favorite form. It does not have fertile flowers, but its beautiful uh, multi-forked leaves definitely make up for that fact. Um, as it's all forms of Drosa bernata are very easily propagated by leaf cuttings. Um, I really like the Multifoot Extrema. Um, it's somewhat similar to the uh, Marston Dragon form, but I, I really like the fact how these leaves are a bit thinner, and I really don't know why I have a preference on it this one in particular, because the Marston Dragon is, is quite similar, but I've just kind of always enjoyed this one, uh, especially uh, growing this in a greenhouse, it was very easy to maintain. Uh, it, even in pretty cold temperatures, it was able to last. And then it just died back to the roots and came back. Um, very adaptable species. Um, the other form you see here uh, is the brighter yellow form. And it, as you can see, I haven't fed these for a while. And so uh, the, the, the Multifida Extrema does have a tendency to color up quite red under... Um, good light intensity and both of these can get quite large right now I have them in an, a very tiny pot which somewhat cramps their root space and uh, I also haven't fed them either which definitely hinders their growth as well but I have had the, uh, the New Zealand form flower for me and it did produce a few seeds and one of those seeds ended up in a pot over here uh, I definitely, I never grew that species out of, out of the, outside of that pot, so it definitely wasn't from root cuttings, which also work extremely well. But it, I just had a plant pop up out over here in my Drosera capillaris, which is kind of going dormant for the year. Uh, but as you can see, the New Zealand form does have a tendency to kind of spread itself all over the place if given the chance. So I hope you enjoy these plants as much as I do. They're very beautiful and especially easy to grow outdoors. They love, uh, you can grow these in hanging baskets actually if there's not as much light intensity to make them grow upright. But uh, they can grow into massive, massive bushes that are known to, I know that at California Carnivores they have this huge Drosera multifida extrema plant that is literally overtaking a uh, one of their hanging basket and it is just enormous so given enough time and enough uh, food these plants will grow to quite um, immense sizes i hope you enjoy them this is drosser banata